Charged as an adult, the 15-year-old accused of the deadly school shooting at Oxford High School, the shooting that killed four students and injured seven others. Ethan Crumley is facing four counts of first-degree murder, seven counts of assault with intent to murder, one count of terrorism causing death, and 12 counts of possession of a firearm. The four students killed in the shooting were identified as 16-year-old Tate Meyer, 14-year-old Hannah St. Juliana, 17-year-old Madison Baldwin, and 17-year-old Justin Shelley. As TV 5's Kendall Keys reports, a mother of two children inside Oxford High School at the time of the shooting is still having trouble coming to terms with what unfolded. I mean, how do you go on from here? I don't know. Kristen Swiskowski is trying to process what happened Tuesday afternoon in her kid's school. There's fear, there's anger, there's sadness, there's, you know, hope. There's all sorts of things, you know, that are going on in everyone's minds. Two of her four kids go to Oxford High. We got a call from my daughter first that um, she was running from the high school and there was a shooter. She says her daughter was one of the first ones out of the building, her son one of the last. He was um, barricaded in the classroom that right outside the hallway that it had happened in. He heard the gunshots. One locked door away from the suspected shooter, Ethan Crumbly. He was one of the last classrooms to be let out. Um, he was waiting with the police in a parking lot and a mother who I don't even know who it was, thank you, drove him to a nearby neighborhood for me to pick him up. She says she's so grateful she was able to reunite with her children because some parents didn't get the chance. I was lucky enough to hug my two that were there after and just to think about some that I know personally that weren't able to do that or are still fighting for their lives. And she has a personal connection to the 15 year old suspected of unleashing the horrors on Oxford High School. My husband coached this kid in OJW, you know, uh, which is a football program earlier. And, you know, it's just, I don't know. It, there's a lot of anger right now. There's a lot of confusion. There's my friend, my, my children's friends are dead. And she's healing her mental wounds by hanging blue and yellow ribbons throughout the Oxford community. Ribbons that symbolize school pride, even after the unthinkable. Reporting for WNEM-TV5, I'm Kendall Keyes. This afternoon, the Oakland County Sheriff's Office revealed the school did have contact with the suspect both the day before and the day of the shooting for behavioral issues, including a meeting with his parents just hours before shots were fired. Authorities are also combing through evidence found during a search of the suspect's home.